to a story you'll see only on two tonight. This man facing assault charges after police say he forced his way onto his daughter's school bus, attacked a driver, all in front of a bus full of students. His name is Matthew Johnson. That incident happened at a bus stop near the North Freeway and North Vista in Spring ISD. Channel 2's Jennifer Bauer joins us live from Spring now. And Jen, do we know what sparked all of this? Well, this dad apparently became very upset because someone hit his daughter. This is what started it all. A second grader got off the school bus with a bloody nose and told her parents a little boy punched her. There was a fourth grader. She's in the second grade. Kim Johnson is that girl's mother. She admits her husband was upset when he learned about the punch. So the next morning, he went to the bus stop. According to court documents, Matthew Johnson, seen here in this 2013 mugshot, forced his way onto the bus, even though the bus driver repeatedly told him he wasn't allowed. These documents also show Johnson was using profanity, including the F word. He was apparently looking for the boy who hit his daughter because he, quote, wanted her to pop him back. Court documents show he told the boy, I don't care if she hit you first. She is a girl. You don't hit girls. He did tell her. Um, hit him back. Uh, he was upset. He did tell him. The report says the little girl did swing at the boy, and her dad struck and pushed the driver. There were 50 elementary school kids on the bus who witnessed it all. Now Spring ISD police have a warrant to arrest Johnson for assault. Well, there was no phys nothing physical between him and the bus driver. He didn't hit the bus driver. He didn't push the bus driver. Now, a Spring ISD spokesperson did tell us in his statement that it clearly states in their parent and student handbook that parents are permitted, not permitted, to board a school bus or disrupt the school bus route at any time throughout the day. They tell us those policies are in place to protect the children. We're live tonight. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC, Channel 2 News.